I'm Claudia Kay and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a static sale and if you've attended my sales this week you've seen all these items. This is the items that are left over from my sale on Monday's Glass with Class, Wednesday's Coffee Chat and a Small Sale, and my Thursday sale with Tiger's Timeless Treasures on his channel. Um, so that's what I'm showing today. So if you've seen it all, it's okay. You can just move on by and watch some uh, somebody else's um, video. You don't have to watch it all again. But I, for people that didn't make it to the sales, weren't able to make it to the sales, I wanted to kind of do a static sale wrap up. So you could see the items. A lot of these items I thrifted last week in my um, thrifting every day for a week videos and people were really interested in them. So I wanted to show them again. If you are new to my channel and or new to somebody's static sales, you will need to send me your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. Uh, if you, there's an item you want, you will claim it in the comments below with the item number that I will give you. And it's always nice to put a little description. So like pink glass number, whatever. Uh, that way there's no... If you make a typo on the number, then I know what you meant. And this sale will be good for one week. It will be good through the 20th of next week. Man, April's flying by. I can't believe how fast it's going. And um, like I said, I have regular sales on Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern with Nikki, Black Dog Vintage and Antiques. That's called Glass with Glass. And then I have a sale every Wednesday morning. That's coffee chat and a small sale at 10 a.m. Eastern. And we are doing an altered book project this year. This is a low, low to no stress project where I give you a prompt every week. If you're busy that week, you skip the prompt. And um, if you're not busy, you can choose to do the prompt, but I keep them very broad so you can put your own interpretation on it. And you can do it from things that you probably already have at home and you don't have to go out and buy new things. Um, the other thing that I do is sometimes do Dollar Tree hauls from the craft area and give you ideas with Dollar Tree items. It's super fun. We've really been enjoying that. And I think that was everything. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to be notified every time I go live or every time I post a new video, which... It's usually only once a week, although last week it was every single day I posted a new haul video because I thrifted every day for a week. It was a challenge that I did for myself and for you guys to bring you absolutely wonderful, fabulous vintage items. So we're going to get started. First item is this art glass, handmade in Poland. So this was mouth blown, handmade oil lamp, and it's got these gorgeous colors this blue and this orangey amber color and this this is kind of heavy like a paperweight heavy the bottom's um, hollow and the base of where you put the oil in the lamp is right there and this is nicely polished so this is a handmade art glass piece the sticker says handmade in poland right there it's very shiny so it's hard to see and this piece is three and three quarter inches tall this piece is going to be fifteen dollars number three fifteen dollars number three my next piece up is Fenton. This is Fenton from the 90s. And I, I saw it labeled um, Primrose, the hand painting on here, but I'm not 100% sure. I saw that online. I don't have a Fenton book. I have a whole list of glass identification books that I would like to have, but I can't pay like the $50 to $100 they want for them right now. There are no chips, no cracks. And this one was hand painted by Pam Louderman. Pam Louderman. 
and the Fenton is imprinted there with the nine under it, so we know it's from the 90s. This Fenton Ruffled Compote is six inches tall. It's a typical compote. Gorgeous condition. That tall. And it's $30 number eight. <clears throat> $30 number eight. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, I have two paper mache rose coasters. These were made in occupied Japan. And they, they're not in fantastic shape. They do have some foxing. I mean, they were made in the, the 40s, early 50s. And these would have been a set of eight that would have come in a round paper mache, like canister type with a lid. But I still think they're lovely. I love to collect vintage coasters. I have quite a collection of them. And these two are $6, number 13. $6, number 13. My next item is a little Amberina toothpick holder, votive holder. This is one of the shorter ones. It's two inches high. This orange will uh, fluoresce bright orange under a black light here along the top. No chips, no cracks. It's very clean. A lot of different companies made these, so I can't identify the company for you, but it's just $6, number two. $6, number two. My next item is this McCoy Wishing Well. And it says, O Wishing Well, grant a wish to me. Now this one, there's the McCoy. This one has a lot of glaze skips. So these are not chips here. This is where the glaze did not get applied completely. So there's a lot of glaze skips on it, but they're not chips. I just, I want you to be aware that those aren't chips. That's just where the glaze did not get applied before it was fired. And it would have had a chain. There would have been a, a little wire handle here and a chain that would have gone to here. So because it does not have the, it doesn't have perfect glaze and it is missing its little chain here, it's only gonna be $10. $10, number 17. But there's no cracks and there's no chips. These are just glaze skips. $10, number 17 on that fantastic planter. And this goes all the way through. So you could plant a tiny plant right here and then other plants in here. That would be fun. Next item is this fabulous wall pocket. It's made in Japan. And look at the crazing. I think crazing is so beautiful when it's crazing from age. Not that fake crazing that some pieces have that are modern. The details on this, the colors on this, it's so good and it's big. This is a big wall pocket. Nine and three quarter inches on this wall pocket. No, no chips. No cracks. I gave it a good scrub. Might be a little dust left right there in the bottom. You can see it, but I did give it a good scrub to, to get out years of dust from hanging on a wall somewhere safely because it's in beautiful condition. $15 number nine. $15 number nine. My next item, I love this. It is a pink tiara glass canister. No chips, no cracks. Here's the bottom. Here is the lid. 
no chips on the lid. It's just in beautiful condition. Now this was a set of three when they were sold by Tiara Glass. And I believe this is the middle size. Not 100% sure, but I believe it is. And to the top of the lid, seven and a half inches and a little under five and a half inches without the lid on it. So this would be, if you had a pink bathroom, put your cotton balls in here or put gumballs, the big gumballs in here. There's so many beautiful things you could put in here. It's just, I love this canister. I love it. $25, number four. $25, number four. And here's another glass piece that I just love. I wish I could have found two. It is an Art Deco candlestick. And this one, I believe, is eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter inches tall. And this is the fired on color. So Art Deco. I couldn't identify the company because the company that does Adam's Rib, and I can't remember what the name of that company is, um, every one that they had listed under that company was not this shape. So I cannot be sure which company did it. It's beautiful. There are no chips, no cracks. It's so Art Deco. $20, number 16. $20, number 16. Next, I've got a Hardy Boys book. Hardy Boys book. This one was reprinted in 1969. Its original um, printing was 1946. And it still has its original. <laughs> it was $2.95 originally. Now it does have, but it's in pencil. It does have two Beth from Grandma in there. But it's in really good condition. I was a Nancy Drew fan, not so much a Hardy Boys, but I read all of the Nancy Drews in the, that were the reprints like this. Five dollars. Five dollars, number five for the Hardy Boys book. Next, I've got this little Lusterware Lion Shaker. He's darling. And I know he's a single shaker, and some people would never pick up singles. I, if they're cute, I pick them up. I do pick up single shakers. So this little guy, he has foreign written on the bottom, which I believe he came over from England but came from Japan, it was imported into England because here in the US, we had countries put country of origin on, but over there in Europe, it just has to say foreign when it's imported. So the estate sale that I got this from, she had um, relatives in England that had come over here and she had a ton of things that were from Great Britain in her house. So I do believe this came from Japan to England to the United States and now could go to your home. He's very kingly. $5, number 12. $5, number 12. I have new old stock wallet. I only have the bottom of the box. It didn't come with the top, but this is a water buffalo calf leather wallet. Your credit cards go in here. It still has its warranty in the big envelope. 
And then if you look here, you got your identification card. You have your diner club card. So we know this is probably from the 60s. If we look at the expiration on the fake diner card, here tells you how to reorder these. And then here is the best part. Doris Day! It came with a picture of Doris Day in it. How much fun is that? So it has never been used. New old stock. We love that. $18, number six. For the man's leather bifold wallet. $18, number six. Next up is this gorgeous set. So you've got the brooch. And we were trying to determine if it was Lucite because Lucite does glow a bit under black light. I checked the earrings. I couldn't get a glow from them, but I had the light on. But then I checked the brooch and got a little bit of a glow. So, and I do believe that this was called um, reverse carve. So they'd carve the image from the back and then they would put the color in. So the brooch is also a pendant. There's the back. And the brooch is about two inches. The earrings are one inch each and they are screw back earrings. So I think this set is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And for all three pieces, it is $12, number 15. $12, number 15. Just a few more items, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Next, we have this smoky piece of art glass. Can you see the color? It's not clear. There's a light smoke to it. It's not a dark smoke, but there's a light smoke to it. It's this size. I think it's about five inches across. Five and three quarters at its widest points. And you can't, I don't think you can, it comes across on there, but if you're looking at it in person, you can see the individual cut marks they made. So it's not highly polished. I don't think it's Blanco because of that, but it makes me wonder if it's not a handmade piece by somebody who was just learning the craft, but it's still, it's a very cool piece. And somebody said, could you use it as a riser? I think you could. So little piece of art glass, smoky art glass, $10, number one, $10, number one. Next item is this playing card case with the vintage playing cards. This is that plastic, that plastic that was marbled, the hard plastic. I'm sure it has a specific name. I don't know, but I think it's very cool. And this was Tower Playing Cards. And then the cards are all here. They are super faded. But there are no jokers. So no jokers, just the regular cards. Very vintage -y set of playing cards in here. But they're in good shape. They're just faded. And that is going to be $6, number seven. $6, number seven. Next is this super cool Lusterware snack tray. How fancy would you be if you just had a couple of cookies and your glass of tea in the afternoon? I love it, it's made in Japan. No chips, no cracks. It's a little snack plate made in Japan, lusterware, purple, orange. We love all of that. $10, number 10. 
$10, number 10. I just think that's the sweetest. Somebody said you could put your individual um, chips and dip in there. That would be fun too. Okay, got a little guy. He's a stone toucan, toucan maybe? I don't think he's a parrot because he's got an awful big schnoz, but he's just little. Little carved stone bird, two inches. And in length, a little bit longer than two inches in length. And this little guy, $5, number 14. $5, number 14. No, there's no damage to him. He's in good condition too. Next, I have this little little plate. Oh, and I forgot to, I was gonna ask Tiger what this says and I totally forgot. So this one was made in Germany. I loved how crisp the picture was on here and I loved that it was black and white. And it's got a clock on it. There is just a random clock there. So this little plate that is four inches is $6, number 19. $6, number 19. Next item, I'm from Ohio, and so is this big old pottery bowl. This is really nice. Ooh, it matches me, we're all in green. This is made at one of the many pottery places in Zanesville, Ohio, but it has worn off right here, so I can't tell you which one. But look, Art Pottery, made in Zanesville, Ohio. So there's a couple different Art Pottery places in Zanesville. It's got this really sweet crimping along the edge here. No chips, no cracks. I think it is a perfect, perfect spring serving bowl, large candy dish. If you want to put a lot of candy out, have yourself a giganto sundae, your ice cream and your whipped cream and your Hershey sauce. It is seven and three quarter inches. So it is a nice size. You could serve your peas in this or your corn. It's a nice, nice dish. This one is going to be $12, number 11. $12, number 11. Next, this little Lucite trivet. I've never seen this pattern before. Also, usually when I find these, they have some spot on them that has been melted, but this one's in good condition. This was Made in USA. And when I looked it up, they also made a napkin holder. How stinking cute is that? Stinking cute. It's a little one. They also made a bigger size. So it is five and a quarter inches. $10, number 20. $10, number 20. And my last item. This made in occupied Japan duck planter. So again, we know 1940s to early, very early 50s. Made in occupied Japan. No chips, no cracks. Look at the wings, you guys. I love that the wings come up and form this. His beak is in good condition. His colors are still good. He's this size. So he's a little guy. And he will be $10, number 18. $10, number 18. And that was it. That was my wrap up items from this week that didn't sell. I don't normally do three sales in a week. It was a busy week. And so probably you guys all had busy weeks too. Maybe you've got kids or grandkids that were on spring break. 
it's going to get even busier because we've got graduations coming up. We've got weddings coming up. So I'm going to try and do kind of a wrap up if I have a lot of things left over, just so that you guys can catch it when you have time. So you don't have to try and get to my lives and then feel bad if you miss it. You, and you can always go back and watch the lives later and email me and anybody else I was selling with to see if the items are still available. That's it. Remember, be kind. It doesn't cost you anything and it may mean everything to someone else. Bye, guys.